Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel and this is your January 2022 reading from Anything Spiritual. Firstly I'd like to say thank you for all the likes and subscribes and all the comments and support that my channel receives. If you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to like or comment on the videos because it really helps the momentum of my channel. In the link in the description below I will put a link to my sister's channel Mind's Eye Inspiration because she also releases monthly videos. Okay, Parsi, so I, I was asking what January holds for you and out fell the Four of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Well, the Four of Swords is about resting, it's about um, recovering from illness. So it could be that you've been concentrating on your health recently. Even if you haven't had an illness, you've perhaps been worried about your health or there's been sort of concerns and um, your focus has been on your health. So that seems to now be settling down and we've got um, the Knight of Pentacles. So he's riding in there on his horse and he's holding out this pentacle and it's like an offer, an offer coming possibly linked to money and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like abundance, okay? It's like um, stability with money. Well, I'm already looking at your cards, Parsis, and even though we're saying in your first message that come out, you could have stability in money, you've got lots of worries going on in your mind. Okay, let's look at that first card, the Nine of Swords. That shows someone being kept awake, somebody worrying, sitting up in bed with her hands on her head, but the swords are not touching her, so it's not as bad as she thinks. And she's kind of overthinking. So I don't know whether you're overthinking in the month of January, Pisces. But things are looking good with your message in the beginning. We, we know you have some sort of offer coming. But is this offer or is this abundance, whatever it is that's coming your way, is that causing you worry and concern? Is it, does it seem almost too good to be true? And obviously you are recovering from um, your health or you have been concentrating on your health. So this could also be where that worry and concern is coming in for some of you. You've got the King of Pentacles. The Pentacles is an earth sign. It's to do with grounding, stability, and we've already touched on that. So you've got that energy coming in there for you. It could be that there's a Capricorn helping you, supporting you. It could be that you need that, um, perhaps you need to focus on your finances more. Perhaps uh, it's talking about being concerned about your finances. It could be that, um, again, the worry or concern is to do with your finances. But we know the finances are good. We know something good is coming in for you. You do have the Tower card this month, okay? Now the Tower card is about changes. OK, so there are some sort of changes for you this month. And again, the two of swords decision, a decision where you're struggling to make the answer, a decision where you feel like you're blindfolded because you're worrying about this person, that person. But, you know, you're this is where the overthinking is coming in. It's linked to this decision. But you are expanding in a particular direction. It could be moving, it could be going away, it could be a holiday. Again, this could be where the money's coming in. This could be where the offer's coming in. Perhaps you get an opportunity or an offer to go somewhere or do something. But you're moving further afield. Look at these arrows, they're starting here and they're shooting off. So whether you're physically doing something, whether you're branching out with work, whatever you're doing, you're doing something this month where you are going further afield again another person card so you do have a lot of people um taking part in in your month in january because you've got the queen of swords here now the queen of swords is normally a good person they normally say she's quite a good counsellor and she will sort of tell you straight she's ready to you know get in there and sort things out the Empress. The Empress is the homemaker. So above all this month parties, you're trying to get things sorted. You're trying to bring in that stability. We said from the beginning about stability. We said about resting. So you've had possible worries and concerns. 
You need to stop this overthinking. You need to stop this worrying. There is some sort of change for you, possible expansion, but you do need to get in control of your thoughts and you do need to aim for that stability. You've got the opportunity here with that King of Pentacles, that stability, that money. You've got the Empress card here where you're trying to sort things out and the Queen of Cups, Waters, Carmen. There could be lots of people involved with you this month, Pisces, but there is a possible opportunity. Could be an op opportunity to expand, expand or go further afield, but you do need to just rein in your thoughts. You do need to just watch yourself from overthinking. But overall, you do have some positive cards here. And you've got a guardian angel message, and it says, Go within. You are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So there's a card here. Again, we, we talked about not overthinking and about this worry. And this is telling you here about going within, being quiet, and listening to your own heart's desires, okay? Because you have the answers inside, which is why it's telling you to go within. So don't pay too much attention to that overactive mind. You do know the answers deep inside, and it's just a case of calming your mind, okay? Calm in this Nine of Swords, calm in this Two of Swords, and then the answers will come to you, okay? Going to pull another card, just to clarify your reading, and this is the Lightseer's Tarot. This is a new pack, which I got for Christmas, and we'll take the top one, which fell off there, and it's the Three of Wands. And look at her, she's almost getting ready to get on her surfboard and go surfing. This could be linked to this Eight of Wands cup, this Eight of Wands here, this opportunity to go somewhere or do something you know, a little bit of action in there, a little bit of movement. She's standing there looking at the waters and she's waiting for a good time. And it tell, tells you here in the to go within card about, you know, not rushing and taking your time to make your answers. And this card sort of saying the same until your mind is clear, until you can calm those thoughts and calm that mind. Don't sort of take action until you're ready. So another card sort of saying a very similar thing. And three of ones, the threes are about taking the next steps. So if this decision that you're trying to make is about the, taking the next steps forward in something, just remember in order to make that decision, you need to calm your mind, Pisces, okay? You need to calm those thoughts, you need to go within and you need to probably listen more to your heart. Okay. We're going to pull some more cards here. A couple of cards for love and relationships. And two cards have already fallen out. And you've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual paths. Okay, Parsi, so there may be certain behaviours, decisions that you have in your life which have been there because of your upbringing, okay? So they could be affecting your relationship. And then worth waiting for, um, divine timing is now at work in your love life. So again, it feels like your love life or your relationship's been on a bit of a hold. Okay, we've all gone through COVID and we do feel like life is a little bit of a hold. So perhaps now is the time to start planning things. So as well as we're saying about making decisions in January and going within, perhaps your relationship also needs something, you know, time to plan some time together, time to plan doing something because you've been waiting, okay, and stop um, worrying about, you know, things that you've always done. It could be that you're saying, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, you know, I've always thought this, or I've always thought that. We know that this card here, certain things in your upbringing, in your life is sort of affecting your relationships. So it may be that you just need to change the way you think about something, okay, and put that relationship first. And for those of you who are single, again, it may be that you're not looking for somebody and you're holding back because of things that you've thought all through your life and the way that you've been brought up. And it may not necessarily be 
um, the way you need to keep thinking. You may just need to look at that and see if you want to tweak that a little bit. Okay, Pisces, I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Remember, subscribe, like, comment. It really does help my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.